everybody this is Hina from Delinium Marketing and today we are going to do a tutorial on the top 10 tips and tricks of Adobe Illustrator. So if you are a beginner and you are looking forward to know about the new tactics and the functions and more information about the Illustrator then you can use these tricks in your creatives to design your objects. So what I am going to do I am showing you how can we start. So here I have pointed out these tens how we are going to do that and you can apply these tactics in your creative. So, so let's start now. First of all, what I'm going to do, I'm using this pen tool and using this pen tool, I am creating a simple line like this. And what I'm going to do next, I want to twist this line just in form of uh, form of a wave. So what you will do, you will go into the effect, effect section and here you will go in distort and transform. You can use this option of twist. Now I'm twisting it to 45 degree. So you can do like this. So it will be look like this after doing the twisting. Now what the next thing you can do, these are the two half tone circles. So what I'm going to do, I will turn it off the full color and the stroke color will be black and turn it to black uh, with, the, with one point. So if you will increase the point size, then you can see the difference in your web patterns. So I, I want to go with the uh, thin, uh, thin wave or the thin line. So the next step is that, that is the next tip that is um, I want to blend these lines. So what you will do, you will press Control C and Control F to place in same place and then move it down like this. And now select these two lines together and go into your blend object by pressing W from your keyboard. And now click on the one anchor point and the another anchor point of your uh, um, uh, 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 you by using this blend tool, you will uh, convert the anchor point into a form of blending. Now, what you will do, you will go over here in the setting area of the blending, and here I am using the specify the steps. So here I want to repeat it. You now all these layers were uh, twelve steps, so it will be. Here you can preview it, so it will be look like this, like a pattern. So, okay, so these are the simple tricks that you can apply by by using the blending lines option. Okay, now what I'm going to do, I I want to create another option that is a tip number three as well. So you will take a simple star from the shape tool, like this, create a star, and now what I'm going to do, I will go into the effect, transform, and here you will choose the pucker and glued option. And here you can preview it like this and uh, you can glue it so it will form a shape like flower or, uh, or you know, you can create different shapes by using the different values of pucker and glued. So this is the tip number three. Now what I'm going to do, I'm moving to tip number four, that is the zigzag option. So what I'm going to do, I will take this ellipse tool from the shape section and I will define the simple ellipse here and you will go again into the effect section and here this time you will choose the zigzag. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I will preview it so it will form a star. You can improve, you can increase and decrease the size of the star like this. So you can uh, just about the size so I'm taking I'm okay with this size now what what I'm going to do I am applying some ridges on per segment to this star so what you will do you will increase it and if you will smooth it then it will be look like this okay so if you will increase it decrease it it all depends upon you how do you want to go with this so I want to go with this Setting. So this is a simple tip that you can use in your design to modify your objects in a different shape, in a different angle. Oh, okay. So what I'm going to do next, I want to show us some stitching effect to text. So what you will do, you will use the text tool option from here. And uh, here I'm writing the simple text uh, like tutorial. And now what I'm going to do, I will turn it to bold. Okay, 
and then increase the size of this text places here turn of the turn on the fill color and now i am making it like red color and here you can choose a point i want to go with this one point and now we are going to do here is the dashed line option that you need to tick you can choose the different value of the point so you can play play with this and you can uh, write different point settings and you can see how the difference will make up when you change these points i will go with the two points and uh, the gap between these dash lines will be around two points so i will go with these settings so it will be look like this if i turn off the black fill color so you can see click it on and turn it off so it will be look like this okay so this is the simple technique that i about to show you okay now what you can do you can transform the objects transformation transformer transforming the object is very interesting tool or the interesting way to copying the object in the similar pattern for example i am using this simple ellipse and here what i'm going to do i'm pressing simple simply the star I was sorry, Alter and Shift to copy the objects and it will be look like this. Now what we are going to do, we will just like this, Control C and here again, make sure your copy is right and again, do the same thing just like this and press Control D to copy the object. In the same way, you can do the similar things here. I have cropped the object and aligned it to uh, on left and now what I'm going to do I will copying the objects again like this and you can press ctrl D like this so you can define the different pattern or the, uh, you can transform the, the objects uh, in a same form of patterns like this by using this transform tool you have one more option for example I have placed a uh, and something like this and you can press alter shift and you can do things like this just i'm just uh, uh, you know clicking through the arrow key down arrow key and I'm, I'm creating the pictures like this so these are the transform options that that you can use to do the, the to define a specific patterns of objects okay so what is the next day a uh, tip that is the half tone text so i'm taking this text again and now this time i'm turning off the stroke here and filling the color like this and now what i'm going to do sorry i need to convert into the outline and now creating the color like this now, what I'm going to do, I will go into the effects section and here you will go into the artistic and here you can find the object uh, of, for example, uh, I, I'm going into the half, uh, sorry, the half tone text, uh, it, it's in under pixelate. So I will use the color half tone. You can define different values here. For example, the channel one is around uh, 150 and you can so let's play with these uh, values so you can may you can see the difference how the uh, text will come up after applying you can apply different um, you know uh, different values so you can see how the difference will come up after doing these things okay so it will be a simple technique to place the half tone effect in your text okay now the next thing is this transforming lines or um, it all depends on you can also transform the lines or any other object that you are working on so what i'm going to do i'm just showing you example by using a simple line for example it's a simple line okay so i will place the stroke color around it just to enhance the line so what i'm going to do i'm going into the effect section and transform and here i'm using the transform uh, option from the effect section and what i will do i will take this anchor point and now i'm converting into 12 copies and here you can turn on the preview to see how the transformation will perform and you can see 
the lines will be moving like this, like this in different ways. So this is the transform option that you can use to create a, a simple line effect of a uh, same transformation, but with different angle, okay? Now, the next is the number nine, that is the web button. You, the, for web button, make sure your color mod is RGB. Here, I'm working on RGB. So, what I'm going to do, I will take this rounded rectangle tool from here, and I will apply simple rounded rectangle, and now go into the object, path and offset path here I'm using two pixels the value of the offset part is around two pixels and it will look like this now so what I'm going to do now it becomes two uh, parallel uh, two uh, connector to rectangles so what I'm going to do uh, I will take the first one and take uh, turn the color to dark blue and now what I'm going to do, I will take the middle one and I will take, turn it to this shape, this shape. So it will be look like this when you will work. This I will take the same text here. And now what I'm going to do, I will turn the dash line off, turning off this uh, stroke. And uh, you can just fill color is white so what I'm going to do I will apply this one here like this okay now if you want you can turn off this uh, white uh, stroke and only apply the fill color here and you can align it in the middle now the, in the next section I'm showing you how can you align the object that is our tip number 10 so for example I'm taking these two objects uh, like uh, turn it the color so if you can easily to see this how the things are moving so I'm selecting these two objects together and now what I'm going to do I am placing it here just to show you how the objects are aligning with each other for example, to place in the middle, what you will do, you will uh, you will place a line tool. You can play with this tool for left. You can apply this horizontally aligned center. You can use this tool and for for right, for in the same way for vertical line top. And I will use the vertical aligned center so our objects will be aligned uh, uh, with a perfect precision. So these are the simple tips and the simple way of uh, working on the Illustrator objects or Illustrator functions. Uh, in a creative way so you can do use these techniques in your creative so to define objects so i hope this tutorial will help you to enhance your skills in uh, illustrator using illustrator so if you have any other question or anything else that you want to ask with me you can ask in a comment section i will reply back to you thanks for watching have a very good day and subscribe to my channel i will come back to you another tutorial bye bye